Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot. I am bringing Pisces their bonus read as promised. This is an 18 plus read for Pisces. Um, we're going to get some tarot about the person in your thoughts and then we're going to get a bunch of messages from your person in like instincts, which is kind of advice and um, we'll see what pops out for you guys. Um, I wanted to thank you so much for being the top viewers. Last week you were substantially higher than any other sign, so thank you. I don't know what this light is doing, but my nose is really red, and I'm still quite under the weather, but I feel a hundred times better than even last night, so I'm finally getting out of this like five days later. But let's see what we have for Pisces. Thank you so much for this, um, all the views, guys. I really appreciate your support, so we'll get into your bonus read. So let's see, what do we have for the person on Pisces' mind? <laughs> the magic stick. Well, that's appropriate, right, for this read, right? <laughs> let's see. What else do we have? Excuse me, I'm still very congested and I have a lot going on in my left side, like my ear sinuses. Oh, oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me get one more card. I think I need two more cards. All right, guys, so I feel like I feel like Pisces, this has kind of been a, a waiting game for you. You've been waiting a while um, for your divine counterpart, the emperor here, um, or for you to be in your emperor power if you're a male watching. Um, I feel like divine timing is kind of the gist of this read. So I do see a new passionate start coming um, with the Ace of Wands here. I feel like it's going to be something that's totally, totally unexpected. Sorry, my hair is wet and you just heard my crazy washer. I need something fixed on it, but I just want to get this done so I can get it out there. Let me start over. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands. This is the, the magic stick. This is passionate new start. This is romantic um, and sexual chemistry, like intense. I feel like it's super, super, super intense because we also have the devil card here. So I feel like um, the devil card could be um, representative of a karmic situation or um, some type of addiction, alcohol, drugs, sex, shopping, gambling. But it could also be a very intense sexual chemistry between you and someone else. Um, I'm sorry, my nose looks crazy. It, I don't know. <laughs> don't don't watch don't watch me just watch the cards um not that I think you are but um I feel like there's an intense sexual chemistry between you and this person it's going to be one like no other I do feel like this person is going to be your soulmate um we have the eight of pentacles which is a card of hard work but also a true love soulmate kind of energy and your person is showing up as the king of pentacles so the king of pentacles is someone who is loyal committed um responsible a caretaker this is someone who wants to um provide for you take care of you um be with you this is a committed loyal kind of energy this is one of the best kings to have in a love read right um i do feel like there's been some stuff going on pisces i don't know if i don't know if you're going to go through a divorce or a breakup But we have some major arcanas here, along with the Devil and the Temperance card. We have the Tower, the Judgment, and the Justice card. So perhaps you're figuring out either you're going through a divorce or you're going through a breakup, um, but you're getting your life in balance. Um, this could be a legal case of some sort. I feel like you have really been evaluating yourself and kind of trying to figure out what it is that you want to get to this happiness and this passion. Like I feel like you've been waiting, evaluating, making some changes. I think this person's going to come in and kind of blow your world up or has blown your world up. It's not somebody you expected it to be. I feel like it's um, someone who brings out a whole nother side of you, to be truly honest. Um, I just don't know what you're kind of getting yourself out of here. Let me see. Let me see if we can get some clarification on this uh, justice card here. Sorry, I thought I had all my cards out and I don't. So let's see. Let's get some clarification on this justice card. Sorry guys. <laughs> the cards are not wanting to shuffle. The lovers. Mm. Yeah. The Hierophant. The Devil and the Knight of Cups. I do totally feel like you're going through a breakup. Um, 
I feel like you are making a choice in love. This is something of that was the higher level commitment, whether it's like a marriage or uh, um, an exclusive relationship. Um, that devil energy is there. So this could be you ending something with a karmic relationship. Um, it is a love situation. I think that you have love for this person. But I do see it coming to an end. I, I do see... Well, I shouldn't say coming to an end. I believe it's coming to an end. Because I believe that this ending is going to put somebody um, in your new forefront. Someone that you're not expecting. Someone that um, you've waited a really long time for to kind of be your match. To have this equal give and take. Oh yeah, here we go. Queen of Pentacles to go along with that King of Pentacles. So I feel like um, you're you're going to come into your counterpart. Your divine counterpart that you maybe didn't even know you were supposed to be with. <laughs> I feel like um, this is going to be a big surprise for you. And then we have strength on the bottom of the deck. So this might be something that requires a lot of strength or endurance. Um, it could also be a Leo, and there you are, Pisces, showing up. So, uh, And the Six of Cups. So this could be someone from your past. And the Sun again. So this could be a Leo. I feel like your last read, the mini reads I did, had the, the Sun card. They definitely had the Sun card in there. Interesting, guys. So perhaps we're looking out for Leo for you. Um, let's look at the Island Time Wellness cards, um, see what we have for Pisces. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think whatever you're getting balanced out or ending or getting over um, is going to transcend you. Boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Yeah, so I kind of do feel, I really do feel like um, you're moving out of a, one situation into another. And I think it's going to really surprise you even. I don't think it's going to be something you're expecting. All right, we're going to get a couple cards from the Hermit Tarot Channel Love Messages. I need more time. That might be what you need to say to this person coming into your life. You're so very special. So I need more time as four. You're so very special as 21. <laughs> Ace of Cups. So this is um, a new start in love. And on the bottom, it's definitely new start in love, guys. Mm. All right, let's get a couple of Hidden Truth Oracle cards from All Things Intuitive. You and I were too young. So maybe this is someone from a long time ago or from a while ago. Maybe you were both a little, one of you or both of you were too immature. I'm afraid to contact you. I can't stop thinking about you. I want to tell you how I feel. So I think this person is definitely someone coming from the past. I feel like maybe if you weren't too young, maybe it was more like um, you weren't mature enough or someone wasn't mature enough or ready for the connection. Now it gets to the steamy part a little bit more, guys. We're going to get shower hour and decent proposals from Majestic Notion. Hair pulling. Come sit on my lap and let me pull your hair while I kiss you passionately. Well, that took a turn. Yeah, that's that Ace of Wands energy. Out in nature, quickie, anytime, any place. I'm gonna get, I think, two more cards. Foot fetish. I'm not afraid to pleasure you in ways you may never have experienced before. <laughs> That's not my cup of tea, but whatever. Um, fire ignited and not a hose in sight. And I'm so thirsty for you. I guess you get five, six. Because uh, two flew out there. All right, we're going to get a couple of Angelic Revelation 144 Shadow Soul messages between you and your person. Whoa, that one wanted to come out. You make me so damn horny. Everything about you turns me on. Um, does it get you horny knowing I stroke myself to your photographs and call your name as I orgasm? Hope nobody's watching that's under 18. Um, our sex is pure tantric love making. Um, would it help you if um I'm sorry, would it help if you spanked me to take out your frustration? 
All right. And then on the bottom of the deck, it says, I have researched twin flames and resonate with the connection. So interesting, guys. Twin flame connection. Okay, we're going to get a couple of sugar and, or a sugar and spice oracle card. A little naughty, a little nice from uh, Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Passion fruit. Do you have any idea how much I desire you? This passionate connection between us is undeniable. I feel the very essence of you, even when you're not near. What I would give to have you here. All right. And then Himalaya salt on the bottom. All right already. You know I tend to be a little salty. Okay, a lot salty at times, but I'm really a nice person. I'd be really good for you. I can be subtle or I can come on strong. It all depends on how you want me to be. Give me a chance to flavor up your love life with my colorful personality and you won't be disappointed. All right. All right. And we're going to end this read, guys, with um, Instincts cards. This is also from Angelic Revelation 144. To get some information that you might need to hear for Pisces. Thank you again so much, Pisces, for... Um, being the top viewers, I totally appreciate it. And I hope you guys enjoy this read. If you do, please like, share, comment, or subscribe. And these are general reads. So if you're looking for um, a more personal read, there's a link in the description box that will take you to my personal webpage. You can't trust them right now. You are hung up on them, but they are focused on another. Let them go. Interesting. And this person is shady as, as fuck and you know it. Um, I feel like, you know, maybe if you're, if you were, you or your person is kind of, um, releasing a third party or going through a divorce, you might not have a lot of trust in them. Maybe you were kind of focused on them, but they are kind of going through it, what they need to do. Um, it says you can't trust them right now. So I don't think that means you can't trust them completely, uh, unless the person's shady as F and, um, you know it. So those are interesting to me. I feel like that's kind of. A protective type energy kind of coming out um so go with whatever you feel is appropriate take whatever resonates with you guys um this is just a general read like i said but thank you thank you thank you so much i do appreciate your time guys thank you so much for watching until next time take care bye, -bye.